Want to help support the channel? Then why not check out the merch that's available from the links below in the description. Help out the channel and get more phenomenal stuff for yourself. And now with that, let's jump straight into the video. Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Dino Fury Episode 4 Season 2 and if you like this sort of content and you want to hear more, if you want to see more, then hit that like button, hit subscribe as well as turn on all, all notifications and check out the merchandise on the channel. It will generally help the channel grow and it also if you like or interact, at least just watch it, they'll put it into the YouTube algorithm and that's what we really, really like. So. Let's talk about this episode. Literally all these episodes that I've noticed is that they do carry on from each other. And it's kind of interesting because the old one, I haven't really thought about this until now, but Saban never really liked this, but this is one that's been going on. And I literally like what they're doing. So what's been going on? We open up with Octolong, um, that's what they call him, but they change his name a little bit later. But Octolong finds more Sporex. He's pretty much found everything in the city so far and that's it we you know he doesn't know what to really do he then sees that the rangers are fighting they're training and i love this i, I love this uh like thing they've also got the colors of the balloons on them so the rangers then have to like literally like destroy the balloon and they're out and i really like this because you have a lot of the rangers fighting Ollie's the one who wins in this one because he does it like, properly. He's able to take them all out quite quickly. With Ion, though, he's eating snacks. He's like, oh, man, did you try these donuts? You know, this whipped cream. And I was like, this is something that we don't normally see because most rangers always eat healthy snacks. So seeing him just consume a shit ton of donuts as well as like whipped cream kind of made me go, oh, OK. But obviously, that's what they wanted to kind of do in this one. So while the rangers are training um we find out that there is a thing called a pack a smooth uh, pack a smash sword say that 10 times fast but the pack a smash sword is like a baby one and they're like hang on a minute like over millions of years like you should you, you've shrunk so what's what's going on i love amelia's reaction because i generally think this is might have been the first thing that they, they showed her rather than be like, oh, this is it. And they've just gone there and she's like, oh my God, it's so cute. It's a, actually a really nice moment in this. And I, I generally just thought, yeah, okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll go with this one. So because of this, like Ion's like, oh yeah, we used to be best friends. So she trusts me. But this means that the Packazord goes all around and just disappears and they, they, they start chasing. They actually try and like make it bigger by using a key. But in fact, it just makes a can of whipped cream bigger. Um, and then obviously when it's in the base, that's it. So it was a bit of kind of fun catching it. That That's all I could see with this one. So we then have Void Knight and he needs more Sporax. He's like, look, you know, we just need a few more. Did you find it? And um, Octa Long is like, yeah, I found everything in the city. Uh, there's no more Sporex that I could find and you kind of think oh, okay season over let's wrap it up boys let's wrap it up but he then sends Octolong uh, he sends yeah sends Octolong and the others to go into town and to try and capture the uh, the Packazord because then they could say hey we'll give you the Packazord to the Rangers the Rangers then give the rest of the Sporex and thus therefore Void Knight's plan is complete does it go to plan no no it doesn't so the rangers then start um, like looking about. They find that the Packazord has, has gone because Ion takes the lead off, off the Packazord because everyone said, look, if you're gonna look after it, literally keep it on the leash because we don't, you know, we don't want it running off right now. So Ion's more like, yeah, it doesn't matter though. And he gets this kind of cocky attitude all the way through, which sometimes annoys me and sometimes doesn't. But Wreckmate and Octolong grab the Zord and they say like, yeah, you, you've got to do this. And a fight breaks out, you know, instant. The Rangers get kind of beaten and uh, Ion and Ollie kind of rush off because the Packer Zord has just literally run away. So the Packer Smash Sword has just cheesed it. So they kind of start tracking it. And Ollie uses his like listening ability with the, uh, with the sound key and he starts looking about, which again, finds it. And they find that the uh, Packer Smash Sword is a baby Zord. Because the Zords now apparently are able to reproduce. I bet the Dragon Zord didn't like that. T-Rex Zord? Nah, get out of here. But apparently they can mate and like off like produce or maybe they can just produce on their own. We don't know these things. Please tell us, Simon. 
please tell us. <laughs> so with this, they're able to free the Zord, which then gives them a new ability. They get a new key, gives them new armor. And I generally really do like the armor where Ollie's like, here, Ion, you take this, you take this. And he's like, no, you know, I trust you. You you are the one who found her. You should be the one who does it. He uses the key when fighting and obviously he gains new ability. It's been a while and this is something kind of a new first, like for a season of Power Rangers, where we normally get the entire kind of like Megazord fight straight away. It's been four episodes in. Now we only actually get a really decent Megazord fight, which I was really happy with. I was like, okay, this is cool. They've used the, the, the pack of Smash Sword and they've kind of combined and it looks really cool. Ollie looks cool, as I've mentioned in his one. And, you know, they get the, as I've written down, the Smash Formation Megazord, which then goes into boxing and that's particularly it. Now, I don't know if they, if they put it in because I didn't see it properly, but I have seen it later. So when they're using it as a boxing thing, the baby Packazord comes out and like hits them as well. And I was just like, that's really cool and cute. I kind of like that. So when the Rangers beat uh, Octolong, that's it. Now we get really, really kind of nice shot where the obviously Octolong has been destroyed. The Sporex is falling and it just literally just goes straight down and he catches it. And he's like, that will do. Thanks very much. And teleports out. And I love seeing different shots like this because it's really creative rather than just the whole thing where he's just standing and goes, bump, caught it. It's actually, you see him catch it. I loved it from a different angle. It's so cool. I love these angles. I want to see more of them in later seasons of Power Rangers or at least in the next lot. So I'm really kind of happy with it. And I absolutely thought it was fantastic for what it is. So the Rangers all have a heart to heart. They say like, you know, whatever it is, they just talk to each other and they kind of all come to the part where, you know, they've got to listen to each other. Iron's like, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't have done that. And they're like, okay, cool. It's fine. Let's move on. And they do. But the next part is that we get, you know, the last one where he goes like, Octolong, you were already a Sporex. You know, it just took you a time. And I thought that was kind of like cheeky. Like, he's like, oh, frick you, fuck you. And then he puts the Sporex in. Gets enough power, turns on the machine, and it's therefore it feeds into his lover, who we don't know what well, we do know her name, but it's the next one I'm gonna reveal it again. So she wakes up and she has that creepy eye where you're like, oh god, where they've just literally stuck the worst contacts in that just don't look really nice to it. So that's it. We pretty much now have the main plot line for what Void Knight's been doing, and we come in. So I've written down it's not a bad episode. It was kind of boring. I do kind of agree. I think it is a little bit of a boring episode, but we get some uh, some new conclusions. We get kind of things coming in, which kind of finish stuff off, obviously with the Void Knight story, which I, I liked. And it's early on as well. So it's not like, oh, all the way halfway through the season or episode four, and it's pretty decent. So I generally kind of really like that. Um, you yeah, know, we've got a new costume. We've got new Zord, which is going to be used heavily for a while. And yeah, and I just, again, I love the the shot that of Void Knight where he catches the Sporex. I think it's one of the best shots I've seen. Apart from the roof one, I really do like these two shots. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So my question is to you, have you seen the episode? What did you think about it? Are you happy with it? Do you like these new shots that they're putting in? Let me know down below in the comments if you like this sort of content and you want to see more. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check out the merchandise because it's on there. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you in a couple of days. Channel を support してくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。<音楽>